Now there has been some crazy weather around the country lately, so we've got Kelly McFarlane back in to tell us what to do if your pet is truly terrified of thunderstorms. And Kelly has brought her dog Zoe along, who, just for the record, is deaf and she's not scared of thunder at all. Morning Kelly. Morning, how are you? Very well. You know, I love that you've brought Zoe in and I think it's we should have kept it a secret from Mike that she was deaf <laughs> because Mike was calling it before and she wasn't answering. <laughs> just kept it a secret for the whole show. It would have been quite funny. Uh, but pets can get really scared, can't they, in thunderstorms? Yeah, certainly. I mean, pets suffer with fear just like we can um, from, from certain things. And yeah, as we know, thunderstorms are a huge uh, phobia issue for, for all animals. Yeah. Except for my dog. My dog does not care at all. She yeah. is absolutely happy wherever a thunderstorm is, doesn't even budge. Yeah, and Zoe, of course, because she's deaf. Yeah, that's not deaf. My dog's maybe just a very special, simple dog. Yeah. <laughs> simple needs. So what can you do for your, for your pet during a storm then? Lots of different things. Uh, first one, if your animal does want to go and hide, just let it. Um, I tend to say just leave them be if that's the case. Um, for dogs, you can cuddle them. There, there was a bit of a stigma um, a while back of, if you, you know, if your dog's frightened, don't hug it. Um, quite frankly, if I'm scared, I'd like a hug. Yeah. And I'm sure our animals would. And um, we do know we can, um, hello, uh, <laughs> reinforce fear. Um, I know, she's all about the hugs. <laughs> um, you can also, uh, there are products on the market, <laughs> such as Thunder Shirts, which wrap around your animal. And from the pressure, it actually um, reduces their stress levels really? as well. Yeah. So it's like yeah. a little, when you're like swaddling a baby, just yeah. makes them feel nice and secure. Yeah. What about animals like guinea pigs or even chickens? Because a lot of suburban gardens have chickens these days. Should you be bringing them inside during a thunderstorm? Again, it really depends on the animal. Certainly things like rabbits, um, again, they're quite um, prone to stress. So uh, you can certainly bring in their little hutches. Um, if you can bring your chickens inside and they can go in the garage or the shed, then why not? You know, minimize the stress levels as much as possible. That would make um, them a really entertaining yeah. dog. Wouldn't it? Can you just imagine that with the chickens in there and the bunnies the great and the dogs? <laughs> so what if your pet is at home alone during a storm? I think a lot nowadays, um, well, depending on Auckland weather, um, but most of the time we tend to know if they are coming, uh, if the storms are coming. So, um, firstly, I think keep your cat inside if you can. Um, certainly keep all your windows closed. And you can also keep your curtains closed to uh, certainly block um, any lightning. Some dogs are quite frightened of the, the, lightning. the lightning. Yeah. Is there any stage when you should be calling in an animal behaviourist? Um, I think if your dog is extremely stressed and it takes them a long time to recover um, from a storm, then certainly those animals should be seeing um, a professional to, to see if they can help with that phobia. What about yeah. things like essential oils? Do they help with dogs? Or, or yeah, animals? you can try. Um, you can always try lavender. Uh, obviously, don't give it to the animal, but you know, put it somewhere near their bed where they can smell it. Um, there are other products on the market, such as um, Adaptil, which is a plug-in diffuser, or Feliway. So one's for dogs, one's for cats, and that reduces. Uh, sorry, produces a pheromone and that helps reduce anxiety for the animal as well. Oh, there's so many things mm. you can get. Yeah. Now, is it true too, can animals or can dogs actually sense a storm before it's coming? Well, certainly my other dog, Sizzle, can. So I usually know about 30 minutes prior. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, definitely because of the air change. So a lot of animals do know it's, it's on its way. They just get yeah. a bit twitchy and a bit funny. Yeah, he starts uh, pacing and panting and yeah. Gets all funny. I know it's ready. Yeah. Wow. Well, there's some really great tips you've given us there, actually. Thank you so much for that, Kelly.